Time for the weather now and Gertie, the first day of our heat wave. Well, it was a little warmer than expected. Mike, it soared to 42 degrees in the city, but it was slightly cooler by the coast and plenty of holidaymakers made the most of that by flocking to the beach and escaping the searing heat. Here at Seacliff, a southwesterly breeze has certainly taken the edge off, but there was no relief this morning for this little guy until a group of cyclists passing through Norton Summit stopped to lend a hand. The koala scrambled up one of their bikes for a drink before scurrying back up a tree. It was rather warm overnight. The low was a balmy 23 degrees. Right now, it's still 39 in the city. Temperatures soared across the state. It reached the mid-40s in several regional centres. To the satellite, and a trough of low pressure will move inland tomorrow before easing on Sunday. A significant cold front triggering thunderstorms will push across the west and then the south of the state on Monday. Interstate tomorrow, 29 for Sydney. Very hot and hazy in Canberra. 32 for Melbourne. Back home, the heat wave continues. 44 is the top for Roxby and Coober Pedy, with storm activity possible in the far northeast. Along the coast is the place to be. 31 for Seduna, 28 for Port Lincoln, Edithburg and Victor Harbour, 29 for Kingscote. Very hot inland though, Nuriutpa and Renmark should crack 40 degrees. Total fire bans are in place again for the Mount Lofty Ranges, Mid North and York Peninsula. Another warm nights ahead before a hot and mostly sunny day. 38 is the forecast top. On Metro Waters, south to southeasterly winds will reach 20 knots with seas around a metre. To surfing, a small wave reducing in size on the mid. Victor and York's should see some fun waves heading into Sunday. 38 again on Sunday. Monday now 40 degrees with a gusty thunderstorm due in the early afternoon. Much cooler on New Year's Eve and then back up to 38 on Friday. So could be another very hot weekend ahead. Try and stay cool if you can.